Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lola and today I'm going to talk about another book that I DNF'd and that I feel the need to rant about. Um, if you hear like the tapping of claws right now, Babe is right next to me getting butt scritches and she is very much enjoying them. So the book that I am talking about today is Promises and Pomegranates. I DNF'd this back in March. It really, really bothered me. <laughs> and it was a book that I kept seeing around and about, like I kept seeing the cover, the cover is beautiful. And I remembered hearing people say that like, it's like a hearse, uh, a hearse, a Hades and Persephone kind of, I thought it was a retelling. It's clearly not. It's definitely more of like inspired by, and like there are a couple references, I guess, to Hades and Persephone. I don't really know why. Promises and Pomegranates is the first book in like a series. I think I think there are two books right now in this series and I don't know what kind of series it is. I don't know if it keeps following the same characters in the first book, uh, but the series is called Monsters and Muses and it is a dark romance, okay? And I know I've said that I'm not a romance reader and I'm not. But Dark Romance is one of the few that I will gladly read because it's fucked up half the time. And I don't know, I like fucked up shit. So I wanted to read it because I heard it was so popular. There seemed to be so many people who liked it. And you know, sometimes I just feel like reading a nice dark romance. Usually I'll go on Wattpad for it because I can find a bunch for free on there. But I found Promises and Pomegranates on Kindle Unlimited and I was like, fuck it, I'll just read this. So it is a like gangster mafia dark romance. That's essentially what it is. Now, <laughs> let's talk about basically the reason why, the reasons why I did not enjoy this book at all. And it's everything that constitutes the book is really why I didn't like it. So... First off, you get two POVs throughout the story. It's Cal and Elena, which are the two lovebirds. Not really lovebirds, whatever. Point is, you get presented to Cal. Cal is the mean and harsh and gruesome man. He's dark and broody and he's not a good guy, you know? He, he's, he's the guy that the, the mafia group call when they need fingers broken and I don't know, blood and guts. But hey, he's also a doctor, so he's actually really quite in intellectual and very smart and articulate. That's basically how you get presented to him. You get like this little dump that's like, this is a bad boy, but ooh, he's also quite smart. So I was like, okay, that's great. I don't get to actually see the character be presented to me. I am just told that this is what he's like and that I should think that he is you know, dangerous, but oh so interesting. Then you get presented to Elena, which she's like 21 and Cal is in his late 40s from what I remember. So quite the age gap there, which I know that Hades and Persephone had it, but Hades and Persephone were gods. There's a difference there, a huge difference, okay? Gods are bored. They fuck anything, shit. Zeus would fuck things in swan form, okay? Anyways. She's like 21 and she is presented kind of in the same way that Cal is. You just kind of get this information where it's like she's going to school and she's the perfect daughter of this mafia boss um, and she is so smart and she's also fierce and brave and independent and she don't need no man. Uh, but once again, did not see that at all in her personality, in her dialogues, in her choice making. She is not smart. She is one of the stupidest people I have ever read the perspective from. Just so fucking dumb. And fierce? No. Yelling a lot is not fierce. Yelling a lot is like calling a chihuahua fierce, okay? They're not. They're small, they growl and they yelp because they're trying to be fierce, but they're not. They're scary, but they're not fierce. You can throw them across the room, which is how I felt about Elena and I wanted to throw her across the room as well. So yeah, characters, not so great. I just, there was no substance there. Nothing was convincing. A lot of it was just cringy. Then there's the plot. What plot? There is no plot. <laughs> I like, I get that romance is usually like based on the story is supposed to be them just trying to fuck each other. I don't even think there was a plot of them trying to fuck each other. <laughs> like there was just nothing. It was, 
the book starts off confusing as fuck. Like, it's, she's gonna get married, but broody man comes in and just kills her husband-to-be on the wedding day, and you don't really know why, but something about he's going to protect her now. And you're like, but why? Like, what, what the fuck? Like, what is this arrangement that's happening? And you don't even seem to like her that much, so why? So there was no plot. Even just the setting of where they, like, there was no time given to try and develop a story or even give us a place where the story happens because I guess you're in a city at first and then he whisks her off to his private island that he owns because, yeah, he makes a lot of money because that adds value to him, apparently. But you never really get any description of what this island is like. Like, is it tropical? Is it just some island off of Canada? Like, who knows? I remember they were in a bar, but same thing. I got no nothing to give me any kind of imagery. And I'm a visual learner. I like it when things are described to me. There was nothing. And when I'm saying that they weren't even trying to fuck each other, I'm not saying there was no sex or at least no, like, pre-sex. But there was no, like, it just made no sense. They talked a lot about their desires. They're very physical desires. Yes, they talked about it a lot, but nothing really happened. And this is where I'm going to get into the point of what really made me hate this book. Just imagine those Pornhub videos where it's your very cheesy, very stereotypical, like, plumber comes into the house, he's like, what do you need me to fix? And goes under the sink and the girl's just talking. Like, there's, like, he doesn't even fucking know what he's plumbing. That's, that's what this writing was. Like, just very crass, very, like, in your face and not sensual, not at all attractive. It just made me gag. And I'm going to give you some examples because I have a lot. So let me open this up. I highlighted a lot. Like, at first it was soft. I would just be like, you know, put like little smiley faces. Then I started putting emojis of the throwing up face because some descriptions were just awful. Like there was one where something about her eating an apple and he was described as the meat of a Granny Smith apple to his lips. It's like, why would you call it the meat of a Granny Smith apple? And why would you be so specific about the apple? <laughs> there were just weird ways of saying things that I was like, I don't, I'm not enjoying this. Just for the sake of not getting this video banned or whatever, I'll put the text up here just kind of like bleeped out with little asterisk stars or something. And I will m myself. A little bit. <clears throat> I know I say fuck a lot and I've said the other words, but I am a little worried that this might get flagged. <laughs> Here it is. No matter how badly your Putin wants me, my k won't be filling it. That's just nasty. Like, you could have worded that so much better and made it way more attractive. Like, just saying, like, no matter how badly you want me to fill you, I will not. Like, just, just that would be so much better than using these words. Maybe it's just, I hate those words. I, it's gotta be that. Ugh, all right, here's another one. At a certain point, all I was doing was having fun highlighting these. <clears throat> this one, I put a note of, oh my fucking God, just gross with the barf face. Uh, squeezing tightly, not enough to make much of a difference, but enough that I feel a bead of, I don't know if that, of pre, hmm, oozing from the tip, soaking into the fabric of my boxers. Like, that's just nasty. Like, I did not need to know that at all. It's, mm. I guess it's just getting too detailed, and I don't like that. That's why I'm, I compared this book to, like, Pornhub. It's Pornhub in book form. <sighs> I'll do one last one because I can only really go through this so much. Um, this one I commented on my highlight and put, what even does this mean? And all I highlighted is a part of a sentence where it says, that familiar ache spreads from my Putin outward. Like, what does that mean? 
a familiar ache spreading from her lady bits outward. If you have fe felt this before, please let me know because I don't know what that means. Then after this, I stopped putting comments on the things I highlighted. And what I started to do is I started highlighting how many times the words dick or cock or Oh my gosh, perky tits was one that I highlighted. Like, just look at this. I don't know if it'll show up very well, but this is how much I ended up highlighting just singular words. And then I just got so done with the, the gross descriptions of stuff. I was like, what is... It was just nasty, and it just did not feel like an actual romance to me. And again, I know it's dark romance, but you do not have to make your writing disgusting to write a dark romance book. You just have to make it twisted enough. Make the plot, you know, messed up. Make one of the characters really messed up without telling me he's messed up. Don't tell me that he's some gruesome guy who breaks fingers, but hey, he's also a doctor. Like, no, don't tell me. Show me, right? Like, come on. We all know this. Show. Don't tell. It's a lot better. Don't tell that to your kids because that might end up in a weird scenario. So anyways, I do know that like a lot of people did enjoy this book and I 100% adore the whole dark romance community of people. Y'all are beautiful and I am not in any way, shape or form shaming what you like. I just said I enjoy it too. Just this book? Ew. That's the only word I have for it. Ew. So yeah, I DNF'd it. I DNF'd it at like a- Oops, shit. I DNF'd it at like a good 32% or something. And I just decided that I couldn't take any more. So I have no idea how the story continues. <laughs> I'm sorry, story? I don't have no idea how the progression of our characters continues. Um, but I just don't care. So if you did enjoy this book, Props to you. I don't know how you get through all the graphic, detailed descriptions. Just the word choice. I can't get past the word choice. So that's all I've got for today. I do not... I don't want books like that anymore. <laughs> uh, anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, you know, the usual like, subscribe, comment, and I will see you next time.